morning, Bruins. I'm Gabe. And I'm Isaiah. And we are your anchors for November 27th. Tuesday, November 27th. Please stand for the pledge. <coughs> Our lunch options, wait. Today is National Day of Giving. Your lunch options for today will include ravioli, pepperoni pizza, big uncrustable, and chicken patties. Our sides today are green beans and a fresh veggie tray. In national news, a national space station captured a Russian rocket soaring through space. Here's CNN with the video. This, ho this hotel room will travel with you. Here's CNN with the story. Disney has released a new trailer on The Lion King. Here's CNN with the trailer. with the sports and weather. Thank you, Anchors. Seven and eighth grade boys basketball plays against Stony Brook tonight. However, eighth grade boys basketball plays from 6.30 to 8.30 and seventh grade plays from 5.30 to 7.30. And they also have a county tournament this Thursday. Swimming and diving tryouts will be held Friday and December 3rd. Both wrestling and swimming and also diving clubs are also open to MSDLT 6th graders. So if you have a younger sibling or neighbor interested in these programs, be sure to let them know about the opportunities. The parent informational meetings is today
from 6.30 to 7.30 at the Lawrence North Wildcats Hospitality Room. Today will be a high of 26 degrees and a low of 18 degrees along with a 7% chance of humidity and a 0% chance of rain. Now back to our anchors. Thank you, Tosh. We encourage you to come out to support the boys' basketball team this Thursday when they play at home. Students, if you are brought to school or walk, remember to dress for the weather in the coming weeks and months. The celebrity birthday for today is Bill Nye, who is a TV show host. Our random fact of the day is 22, wait, 20,500... 252 is Smokey the Bear's own zip code. Now to Miss Neal with the rest of your morning announcements. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day, Bruins! Good morning, students. All right. We are continuing our quest to finish the Learn More magazine. So teachers, as you know, you have this uh, via your computer, or we also have the book, students. Uh, some of you have already completed your book. That's awesome. For those of you who need to catch up, that's the problem. We are now ready for the second C. Remember, the first one was career, and the second one is college. So the red section, which begins right here on page 9, is a section that you need to read that talks about college. Why should you go? What's the importance of it? Some of you may want to go to a four-year college. Some of you may want to go just to a two-year college. It's awesome no matter what, but you need to make plans to go to college uh, or to some type of schooling after high school. The next section talks about your graduation plan. This is a uh, plan that you will make when you're in high school. Students who are eighth graders and of course seventh graders as well, there are new graduation requirements for you. And we're gonna talk about those because this is brand new and it applies to the class of 2023. So we're gonna spend some time talking about that soon talks about the types of courses, and then it talks about mapping out your future. And then students, we're going to spend some time talking about all the different types of degrees you can get for college. Two year, all the way up to four year, to a um, bachelor's, uh, to a master's, and then maybe you want to go to the military, which is an, um, or, or apprenticeship. These are things that you can do after you graduate from high school, which will give you some job skills and will allow you to get some really good jobs. The last thing we'll talk about, this is a map that you will see in the cafeteria, in certain rooms around the building. Um, I think Mr. Miller has one, Mrs. Anderson has one up. But this is a map of all the different colleges in the state of Indiana. So I want you to look at that map and look at all of the different options. Not every state has the number of colleges that we have in Indiana, which leads us in to that last one, which is what we'll talk about maybe at the end of this week, and that is the 21st Century Scholars Program, which will allow you to use your money at any of the schools uh, that are listed on this map. So students, take the time today to look at Section 2, the second C, which is college. Have a great day.